what's going on toxic gamers we need to talk about this one immediately man what is going on in gaming man concord shutting down x defined mega shutdown this is in just to the homie blame trust because he never liked a single game in his life and the only game he loved was x defined and now we're hearing that that's gonna get shut down oh man you gotta be kidding me and something else just went down with call of duty that i want to talk about in this video fellers like the video if you just want a good game you want no skill based matchmaking no cheaters no hey, 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 no friendly bbc online no bundles like that dislike the video if you want cheaters you want crazy microtransactions trash ass games and no justice for blame truth i believe in justice for blame truth and with that shout out to the homie, homie nero cinema you guys are not ready for this one put your put your seat belts on guys I had like that one. every game feels the same i keep telling myself that it's not even like i'm playing a multiplayer game anymore it's like i'm playing a single player game with a difficulty ramped up to veteran wait for it and therefore every single match feels the same the names may change but everybody plays the same you know so i thought how about we see how the other side lives i want to yeah. see how thick this matchmaking is and it's actually very easy to do that hey, oh, hey whoa 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 hey tranquilo papi papi tranquilo i think he better spill the, the the beans on how to do reverse boosting nah you need is a new Activision ID, which all you okay. have to do is get a brand new email account for that. Then from there, I went and got the PC Game Pass for one dollar, which you can even refund that one dollar within 30 days, so you can get your dollar back even. And so with a new Activision ID and a one dollar PC Game Pass, I now have a fresh account. Here is the father of four, retired plumber, volunteer firefighter, and leader of the local Boy Scout troop. Just trying to jump in after playing some Goldeneye all these years to try out Call of Duty for the very first time. That's me, and I could not believe what it was like when I got into my very first game, man. Like, it's a whole different experience entirely. Like, the skill-based so matchmaking is so thick in the COD franchise now that for me, every match feels the same. Every match is like super sweaty and people sliding and- Context, so he reverse boosted to get in a, in a lobby filled with bots, with actual NPCs. Not like the actual bots that the game has, but bots as in newbies, the noobs, right? Like the new players. This is crazy. This is an entirely new world that you're about to witness. Uh, wait for it. And PWs and like Twitch TV names and everything. Whereas for these guys, this is what COD is like for them every single match and i live streamed this all today and honestly my voice is kind of shot but like i was <laughs> laughing so much it was just such a different experience i felt like i was in a discovery channel documentary or something like <laughs> here's the father of four grazing in the center of the map when suddenly he's ambushed by the thumbless tiger thankfully the tiger could Man. not hit any of his shots and the father of four survives so he can try to feed his four children dog in my lobby so <laughs> Bro, you don't even see the, the guy. You're just dead, bro. You're just dead. You don't even see the enemy. The It's like... Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. How did I get killed, bro? <laughs> seconds are playing like their life depends on it. And these things are so calm. They're so relaxing. They're missing their shots. They're getting second chances. Everybody deserves second chances. I should not say everybody, but generally speaking, majority deserves second chances. And you know what? I'm happy for these fellas, man. I'm happy for these like, fellas. Like, I couldn't believe how these lobbies went, man. It's like I'm playing an entirely different game. I just played for hours like this, where I'm trying not to make the matchmaking system, like, figure out, like, what I am and who I am and everything. So, intentionally, I would just aimlessly walk around the map. I would miss bullets on purpose. Basically, just doing everything I can to try to trick the algorithm, because I just wanted to get into these lobbies and just run around in them. It's not like I'm yeah. one of those people reverse boosting, trying to get nukes or anything like that. Okay, in fair. fact, I did run into somebody today who clearly reverse boosted to get into those lobbies i forget the score but he got like 70 something kills or something like that i don't know if he's a youtuber or a live streamer or whatever the hell but clearly he reverse boosted to get there it was pretty freaking funny but aside from him every lobby was just so was it the homie swag who likes to yeah i need to know about him man we need to know we need to know i mean shocker shocker majority of the streamers that you might be fans fan of in terms of gameplay channels gameplay streamers they cheat if they don't cheat, they reverse boost. And do you really blame them for reverse boosting? Cheating, that's different. I know some people, uh, this might be a crazy discussion, but everybody gather on, okay, gather on. Before you witness the second clip here that is about to come up, okay? This one is crazy. Everybody gather on, okay, gather on. We need to discuss this immediately, okay? Clench your butt cheeks, put your seatbelts on, put your poppers on a leash right now. Don't let your dogs out, all right? But do you consider 
reverse boosting as cheating one if one in the comments if you do two in the comments if you don't i however don't consider that as cheating if you do i can understand i can totally understand that and first of all no i don't reverse boost i haven't played call of duty in the longest amount of time and every time i get the chance to play i, I play for like 30 minutes max right maybe sometimes if i have a podcast playing in the background on youtube then i'm like you know playing the game without sound i'm just like chilling out relaxing and uh listening to a podcast listening to a uh, youtube or catch up on the youtube videos that's how i play games nowadays and if i get free time i don't necessarily want to play just call of duty right but here's the thing though people and youtubers that do reverse boost i i get it I get it. Y you want good kills because uh, good gameplays, because people are watching your gameplays uh, for gameplays because they want to get better at the game. But you should tell people at the very least that you're reverse boosting. You know, it's not genuine. I at least you should tell people that you're reverse boosting to get those gameplays. That's basically where I'm at. The, the system is designed this way. So people that are reverse boosting, the reason I don't consider that cheating is because you know you're not buying a software to do it if you're buying a software and you're having like external devices then absolutely you're cheating right but it's something that everybody can do and anybody can do in the game so therefore it's not cheating it's wrong to do i guess we can say that but anybody can do it i'm not gonna do it i don't want to waste my time i'm 28 years old bro like if i was uh like let's just say 16 years old oh yeah absolutely got plenty of time oh might as well like reverse boost and get these lobbies right but i'm 28 bro like i don't got the time for that crap and secondly bro it's a video game i don't care if i get like 20,000 kills or like 20 kills right like in a lobby right i don't care for that but I want, genuinely, I want, like, good game. I want a good game. And I want, I don't want this artificial BS algorithm saving my ass or protecting me or pushing me or, or not pushing me, like, punishing me, rather. It's like you going to the gym every single day to get better. You're playing the game, which is the equivalent of you playing the game every day to get better. But it's like, you're not because the algorithm, the more you play, the better you get at the game, the worse you're gonna be in the game and the worse you're gonna get in the game. How is that even fair? It's like same thing, right? You go to the gym, working out daily or every other day or bi-weekly to improve yourself, right? But come to find out that it was all a lie and you're not getting better. How are you gonna feel? You're not gonna go to the gym anymore, right? Why even bust your ass? Why waste your time going there? working out then you're not even getting better exactly my point i know these points are different okay i get that but it's like that's an analogy that's a metaphor where metaphorically speaking that's what's going on and this is such a slap on human intelligence to these people intelligence of course i'd rather be in these lobbies than not absolutely nobody's gonna deny it but it's, it's such a slap on the consumer space it's like activision is like hey bro you're so dumb you're so uh, you're such a re re that uh, such a retweet that <laughs> we, we gotta put you in this lobby because you're so slow you're slow slow we're, we're gonna put you there man but we're not gonna bother with you you're so low iq you're such a moron we need to put you in that lobby it's such a slap on human intelligence it's such a slap on these people's uh, iq bro it, it's sad it's ridiculous man continuously and consistently like this where everybody just doesn't really know how to walk they don't know how to aim they don't really know how to do anything this is like the very lowest bracket of skill-based matchmaking the very bottom of the skill-based matchmaking bracket and frankly these people are having more fun than we are i guarantee you that yeah, they're yes. having so much more fun playing in these lobbies not because they're easy but because they're relaxed and they're casual the same way call of duty used to be there was this one match i was playing where this guy who didn't have the best mic in the world but he can still make out what he's saying you still understand it. it i find him he's messing around with the rcxd and he's trying to figure out how to control it and i don't blame him that freaking rc car is hard to control in this game but watch what happens right here <laughs> control the damn remote control the damn. damn got one Dude blew up his RC car on his own teammate. He's like, yep, got one. He was like so stoked about it, man. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, this is... <laughs> man, man, bro, like, what is going on right now, man? I wish I could be playing like that, man. I wish I could be enjoying that game that way. I wish I could be that dumb. I wish I could be that... You know, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Brother thought that he got a kill. He was so happy. 
I wish I could be happy like that too, man. Brother's so happy, man. That, that, that he's like, God, <laughs> it's a team, man. It's a team, man. It's a team. <clears throat> it's a team, man. It's a team, man. But brother's so happy. And I, listen, man, I don't want to take none from that, that gentleman's happiness. I don't want to take none of. Yeah, he's happy. And I don't want to take that happiness away, bro. I don't want to take that happiness away, man. <laughs> Oh, well, man. You know, bro, brother, brother loving that game, man. Brother loving that game. I, I don't want to take that away from that guy. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy that game, brother. Enjoy that game. This is what Call of Duty kind of used to be like. Obviously, it wasn't exactly like this because this is like manipulative, algorithmic nonsense where every person in this lobby is the exact same as every other person in the lobby, essentially. Wait for it. And truth be told, looking back at this footage, I kind of felt like a dick. Like I felt like I was like intruding almost. Like I felt bad for being here. Like, man, like these guys are just out here. They're enjoying the game. They're having fun. Yeah. And me showing up almost seems like I'm bullying them in a way. But the thing is, it's not my fault necessarily. It's Activision's fault for taking these people like these grown adults most of them probably and without their knowledge or consent just putting them in lobbies like this constantly giving them the illusion that this is what call of duty is like and when you yeah. see those other people like on youtube or twitch or anywhere on social media or whatever those people are probably cheating normal call of duty is like what you play in your matches so them this is just cod and i'm telling you guys i guarantee they're having way more fun than we are this just goes to prove how ridiculously thick skill-based matchmaking is like i have like eight hours Oh man, I miss the days when you would make uh, your enemy your kind of like friend, right? He, well, first it was funny because he was losing his shot and I'm like, bro, I, that has never happened. <laughs> that never goes on in my lobbies, man. What are we talking about, man? Seconds are just like, Bleh. they laser you out of nowhere. They laser you and this guy missed so many shots and later on he's be turning out to be his ally. I miss these days, man, because I remember back in the days, yeah, like, uh, enemy, some enemies would become your friend, and it, it was special, it was one of those things, right, like, oh man, oh damn, I got, like, a sneak peek, and the enemy sometimes would tell you, like, what's going on in the, uh, ar around the map, he would kind of give you warning, I remember those days, I was like, hey, the enemy is coming, my team member is coming, here you go, free kill for you, yay, you know, and then you're gonna act the same, right, if your teammates come, you're gonna, Apparently, you're, you're gonna you're gonna become a rogue employee, right? A rogue set of uh, agent, whatever, right? It, it was fun to do sometimes, right? Fellas, come on, man, it was fun to do. Nowadays, bro, you don't even see the enemy. You don't even get the chance to make that uh, a friend. They see you, and bam, they laser you or so nine hours ten hours something crazy of the black ops 6 beta streamed over on my twitch and you can go look and you can see how every lobby is sweaty how every lobby is the exact same as the one before and the one that's going to come after it everything is just so cyclical when it comes to the matchmaking in this game that is how thick skill based matchmaking is that's how they figure out based on their patents and everything where they track everything from your movement to your weapon accuracy to your kill death ratio to the time you spend on the objective to yeah. everything man they track every single little minute detail about your you play five games like i always say you play five games these suckers know the size of your junk they 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 know the size that how many kids you're gonna have they know your entire family tree they know your bloodline they know like yeah and, and on top they they do these calculations right they they, 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 they they're doing these calculations and if they find out that you're a retweet they're gonna put you in these lobbies such a slap on humans intelligence man damn homie. character and then try to put you in lobbies with other people that are exactly like that and that goes across the entire spectrum of the call of duty community you have your pro your pro players there who play other people that like play like they're pros and love league play and everything then you have like your normal people like me i would assume who just like old school cod and just like to be able to play the game and level up their guns and get their camos and everything but still because i go positive way more than i don't i have to deal with sweaty skill based matchmaking all the time all the way down to people like this who just clearly are just playing the game because they find it fun they find it enjoyable and they just they go in and their lobbies are like this every yeah. single time and i mean listen here fellas if your lobby turn out to be like this you're probably i wish i could say psych right now but you're probably also gonna go with that yeah, yeah, yeah probably, you're probably gonna end up buying the bbc bundles you're gonna end up buying like those uh you know hundred dollars eighty dollars the funniest thing to me here is this and i still cannot wrap my head around it i have mentioned this like a couple of times on my channel but every time i do I find out in the comment section from you guys, you're like, oh, Skizzle, I didn't know, man. So there are new faces here, right? There are new faces that are always surprised, so shocked, right? The craziest thing here is that 
These suckers actually dropped a $80 monkey punch in Modern Warfare 2023, right? You heard about it, right? Maybe not. Okay, here you go. If you're, yeah, first time, first time. Well, too bad, guys. I wish I could say site right now, but $80 microtransaction, a monkey punch, okay? And get this, they also added a $100 weapon skin. I believe the way you would get that $100 weapon skin is that if you buy like four or five bundles, and then when you have collectively spent $100 on microtransaction, you're gonna get that skin. You wanna know what people said? Well, look at how nice Activision is. This is our reward. <laughs> it's our reward, man, it's our reward. Our reward is for free. Or if you have achieved something in the game by playing the game, by grinding the game, and then in return, if you get something, that's a reward. This is not a reward. You paying $80 for a monkey punch or spending $100 collectively to get that skin at the end, that's not a reward, bruh. That's you spending literal money that you have bought it. You have bought it. You have bought it. You have not earned it. You have not, you were not given a reward by Activision, but people are like, hey, that's our reward from Activision. Bruh. That is our reward. Look at how nice Activision is. Let me give a thumbs up right now. Let me give a thumbs up. Activision is nice. Look how they much care about their fan base. They be caring about us all day, all day, every day. They be caring about us, right? This stuff is crazy, man. And I guess these are the players that are loving the game so much that they're like, okay, BBC Online, let me buy the friendly UAV bundle. Let me go ahead and buy the monkey punch. Let me go King Kong on these suckers. Let me go ahead and get that hundred dollar skin by spending hundred dollars on the microtransaction. And then you got the you got Activision out there, okay? Activision looking <laughs> Activision looking like this after that, man. I will say I was kind of a jerk because there are some funny things you can do in lobbies like this. Like even like running around like you guys have been watching me, you can still pull out three KDs without even trying to. And there was yep. a couple of times where like I'm walking up and these guys are going up to try to capture the B flag and domination and just to try yeah. to entertain my live stream and everything. I would pick them up and talk to them in proximity chat and tell them, all right, I like my B flag a lot. I'm going to have to ask you not to come near my B flag and then walk him away from it and then go up and do the exact same thing to another guy. Toward Towards the Bruh. very end of the match, there was this guy playing the objective, and I feel like such an asshole, but I walked up behind him, and I grabbed him. I'm like, we're going to take your beef like here, right? At the very end of the match, I'm going to hold you here, so you have to watch. And I just felt like such a dick, but it was funny, and just, I don't know, man. Like, it's crazy how the skill-based matchmaking in this game absolutely manipulates everything. It's a different planet. It's a different planet. Completely. Like, there's people out there who are playing a completely different game than you or I, and I think, ultimately, a lot of people believe that people like myself, and maybe a lot of you out there that maybe we just we always want lobbies like this we want to be no, able to drop no. nukes every single game we want to just be no 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 we just want like natural organic lobbies where sometimes you're facing a clan of six people like friend group of six people that are demolishing your ass other times you want to bring your own friend group and demolish their asses okay and sometimes you want good lobbies solo play sometimes uh bad lobbies as well because you learn you adapt you grow and you become better right like that's how it is right sometimes they're gonna get tough love other times you're gonna give them tough love you feel what i'm saying like natural organic that's what we want that's what we want connection over skill based matchmaking right connection ping ping is king there used to be a time when seconds would say ping is king nowadays it'd be like that man it'd be like that man it'd be like that man. up on bad players all the time it's not true, man. It just nah, isn't. Bruh. When I play Call of Duty or any shooter game online, X Defiance is great. For some, it might be. For for some, it might be. But generally speaking, it's not true. And these suckers are put in the dumb dumb lobbies, bro. Like, damn, I feel bad for them. To be honest, though, I feel happy for them. Like, they're happy. But if they're playing the game and they're happy now, nah, that that's fine, though. But still, like, man, Activision is slapping on their intelligence bro their activision is the one saying that they dumb dumb you so dumb bro that you don't belong in the actual lobbies that's what activision is saying right now you so dumb bro we're gonna put you in these kitty kitty lobbies out there example of that i just want to get into a match based on connection and i want the match to just be a bunch of random people all thrown together oh, wow, some better than me kill. some worse than me some the same as me and we just go out there and we play and may the better man win and wow. i want to be able to relax while i'm doing it man if i'm leveling up my pistols or if i'm going for my dark matter camo i don't want to have to just be facing people who are playing like it's league play constantly 24 7 it doesn't make for a fun experience and if you're one of those people out there who do enjoy that sweaty competitive environment well ranked play is a thing yet for some reason you don't really play i i agree and i said it a million times that rank play should be like crazy skill-based matchmaking 
it should be like the real skill-based matchmaking, right? Where it's like you versus your actual skill player. And I wanted to bring this up. For me personally, I haven't been playing Call of Duty the way I used to, right? Because back in the days, I would play 24-7. Modern Warfare 19 is when we all know the skill-based mastering. And it was so crazy that it pushed me away from the game. Modern Warfare 2022 was also crazy, don't get me wrong. But after that, I stopped playing Call of Duty the way I did. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I picked up Black Ops 6 uh, beta code from the homie Tom Henderson. He put it up on his uh, Twitter. And uh, it was 4 in the morning, I guess. There weren't that many people, so luckily I was ended up uh, getting it okay so i played a couple of games now i could be wrong now i played the game around like five in the morning till like seven i was listening to a podcast i took shower like yeah i'm a late nighter okay i'm a late nighter and i found out i found out that i had time so i uh played like for two hours actually yeah and i enjoyed my time i was listening to a podcast maybe it's, it's it was uh, maybe i enjoyed it because i was listening to a podcast i don't know okay but i enjoyed my time regardless and, and yeah my lobbies were sweaty but my lobbies were not sweaty the the way i see this lobbies being sweaty like for example nero cinema because i believe he plays a lot right and my lobbies weren't as noob friendly as what we're seeing this is a completely different planet guys but my lobbies were sweaty though my lobbies were sweaty but but nowhere near the way they used to be all the way back in modern warfare 19 so that's progress but i do believe the reason it's not crazy sweaty for me anymore the, uh, anymore the way it used to be is because i don't play that game every day anymore i don't play it and i guess the algorithm knows that so whenever i play now the algorithm is like oh oh returning customer returning customer returning player don't go too crazy okay don't go too crazy my uh my thing with th with this is that and the thing that i learned with this is that guys if you're playing the game don't play every day man don't play every day and you're probably gonna have a better chance you're gonna enjoy the game even more check out this video on the screen because what we're learning is that x defined mind shut down check out this video on the screen if you haven't seen the video if you already seen the video check out the video on the left because concord is now shutting down okay that's confirmed check it out and i'll see you